For this video it is assumed you've watched the previous one in the playlist as it introduced concepts that are key to understanding what goes on in this particular video here. So if we remember very briefly, the last video looked at assigning 2 to a variable called first number, i.e. this program statement here. And we should know that produced an execution space and we generated an object reference and an object. And the object reference is given the name first number and the object is given the value of 2. And we then load up the object reference with the address of the location of the object in the execution space and we say these are bound together. Now there was a fuller explanation as I say in the previous video so if you didn't quite know what was going on there I strongly recommend you stop this video and go and look at the previous one. Now something important happens here. You see what we're dealing with is an object which is referred to as an integer object because we're storing an integer in it i.e. 2 is an example of an integer. And this sounds a bit bizarre, but once this integer object is created, its value cannot be changed. The integer object is said to be immutable, meaning it cannot be changed. But this seems not to make much sense. For example, if we just forget this execution space for a moment, and let's have a look at this. If I have a variable called first number and I assign that to, we've looked at a model before, which has a variable called first number and this assignment statement copies the two into the variable and we can see the animation moving the value into my model of what a variable is. If I then execute this program statement or should I say when Python now executes this we can see the first number is being assigned 5 so 5 is copied to first number and of course what this will mean is the 5 will move and replace the 2. So that variable is changed. So what's all this that we've been referring to as being immutable? Because we can clearly see here that the variable was changed, i.e. it first of all stored 2 and then it stored 5. Well let's go back and have a look at this again with the execution space. Here we can see first number assigned 2. This will create this execution space here and of course we will have an object reference and an object being created and the object reference is given the name first number and the two is moved to the center of the object to the core of the object. Python then arranges for the object reference to have the address of the object as represented by this arrow which points to the object in the execution space so these are then bound. So what happens here if I say first number is assigned 5. Well, what will actually happen is this. When this executes, another object is created and that object is given the value 5. Now keep your eye on the object reference first number. What will happen is another address will come in overwriting what's there before. Now the consequence here is first number is the object reference and it no longer has the address of the object that contains 2. So it can't be bound. So that bound line is removed because this object reference is now bound to 5 as we can see here. Now a careful look at the object containing 2 shows that nothing is bound to it. So what we need to do, we need to mark this. Now the trouble is because that is not bound to an object reference we don't know where it is in the execution space. There is nothing to point to it. Now if this was allowed to happen, i.e. we create objects and then through our code we end up changing the pointer that appears in the object reference, we'll have objects cluttering up the execution space. So what Python does, and as programmers we don't have to worry about this, is done for us, it's garbage collected. Now what does that mean? Well, it simply means that Every now and then, Python goes around having a look at its execution space, i.e. its kind of memory area, and says, well, I've got an object here, or well, this thing is clogging up the memory, and nobody seems to be pointing to it. I know what I'll do. I'll get rid of it. And that's precisely what happens. And that getting rid of it out of the memory simply frees up the memory, frees up space to be used by other programs. And this is quite important, freeing up memory space, especially on computers where you can do lots of processing. However, 
we can simply go with this model here where that is assigned to first number and when we have this statement 5 is assigned to it so the question is are we okay to go with this for now when we're starting off our understanding of Python the answer is of course we are we could think of variables as being changed as you see here but this notion of something being immutable is quite important and we'll come back to that as and when we move through our understanding of the Python language just to remind you what actually happens is this That's quite a lot of things happening, isn't there? You see, first number was assigned 2, and then first number was assigned 5. So it looks like, well, that's pretty straightforward. But in fact, when we look at the execution space, and we consider what went on under the bonnet, or under the hood of Python, we can see it was a little bit more involved than possibly you might have been expecting. However, there'll be no harm if you just go with the simpler model for the time being and return to this understanding of objects and object references at some later date. Check out the supporting website for these videos and consider subscribing to the YouTube channel and you'll get an automatic update every time I upload a new video on Python.